This is a good example of rose rosette disease right here. Here we have uh, a concentration of new growth and stems. We call that a witch's broom where you have many uh, stems uh, with very short internodes concentrated together at the end of a stem and you often see excessive thorniness on those stems. So you can look in here and see some excessive thorniness on these stems. Oftentimes the leaves are puckered. So it's just distorted growth, you know, in the leaf, in the thorns, and in the stems. And that's, that's the telltale sign for rose rosette disease, which is a virus. And when we see the, those symptoms, we pull the rose bush. There is no cure for this disease. We simply have to remove the bush, toss it, and replace it with another rose bush or with something else, such as annuals or perennials. And we are in the process now of installing a new irrigation system or modifying our existing irrigation system uh, in preparation for the, the grand planting design that we have this fall. We want to install that plant this fall. Uh, so once the irrigation is installed, we will plant some annuals on the ramp here just so that we have summer color. And then this fall, we will replant with roses, some boxwood hedges, other hedges, topiaries, uh, to create that grand European rose garden look.